of today's devotional can be found in Alma chapter 37 verse 33. Preach unto them repentance and faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Teach them to humble themselves and to be meek and lowly in heart. Teach them to withstand every temptation of the devil with their faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so it's because of the Lord Jesus Christ that we can repent from our sins. It's because of the atonement that we can let go of our sins, give them to the Lord, and do better, because he's already died for everyone. So it's a matter of just giving our sins away, because he's already died for them, so why do we need to prolong it? I mean, yes, there'll be consequences for actions, but we shouldn't have to suffer the full magnitude because it was already done. But there are consequences, and that's one of the things we need to learn. There are consequences for actions. And although we can't choose the consequences, we can certainly choose the actions. And hence, why we need to have the, the desire to repent because it's an act of faith. Yes, repentance is a tough road, but it will help open our hearts better. And we should also teach others, as God and Christ have taught us, to be humble, teachable, loving, caring, compassionate. And we should be simple and kind. We should always lean on the Lord for strength and courage to move forward. And we shouldn't become angry. We should rely on the Lord whether or not we're in a dark moment. And we should also know to withstand, to know, we should also know how to identify and withstand the temptations of the devil. Because Satan watches our every move and looks for vulnerabilities, and he will stop at nothing to destroy us. And when we know these things, and as we act on these things, we should also gain the Spirit of the Lord to be able to teach these things that we might follow in the pattern of Christ who taught all ago and is still teaching through his atonement and through his love and his mercy. Because faith without works is dead and if we don't teach what we know and what is of Christ, we're not really acting on our faith, we're not really working our faith, are we? If we don't lean on the atonement, we're not working our faith, and we need to work our faith. Because that is how Christ teaches us better, is by us working our faith. But of course, it's our choice because working our faith is a combination of humbling ourselves, faith, wanting to do better, meekness, lowliness, Wanting to withstand the temptations of the devil, but feeling as though we lack the strength. That's working our faith. And if we wish, Christ can help us work our faith a lot better than we can on our own. But it's all up to us. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.